Hi, this is Pastor John from Millerville Community Church, and this is Evening Vespers. Tonight's meditation is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 8, 16 to 25. No one lights a lamp and hides it in a clay jar or puts it under a bed. Instead, they put it on a stand so that those who come in can see the light. For there's, no, there's nothing hidden that will not be disclosed, and nothing concealed that will not be known or brought out into the open. Therefore, consider carefully how you listen. Whoever has will be given more, and whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them. Now Jesus' mother and brother came to see him, but they were not able to get near him because of the crowd. Someone told him, Your mother and brother are standing outside waiting to see you. He replied, My, bro my mother and brothers are those who are hear God's word, and they put it into practice. One day Jesus said to his disciples, Let's go over to the other side of the lake. So they got into the boat and they set out, and as they sailed, he fell asleep. A squall came down on the lake so that the boat was being swamped, and they were in great danger. The disciples went and woke him, saying, Master, Master, we're going to drown. He got up, rebuked the wind, and the raging waters, the storm subsided, and all was calm. Where is your faith? he asked his disciples. In fear and amazement, they asked one another, Who is this? He commands even the winds and the water, and they obey him. Tonight's meditation is about letting our faith shine, our confidence in the Lord Jesus Christ. And it might be that you feel like you've been hiding, uh, locked down, hidden away, uh, unable to see other people. And this command to let your light shine in the darkness is a hard thing. We all feel like we're under clay jars, under our beds, hiding. But Jesus encourages us to hear God's word, put it into practice. And that is how you become unhidden. That's how you set yourself free from the oppression and the thoughts and the difficulties of this world. Uh, don't uh, listen to the news as much as listen to God and do what he says. Follow his commands into the light. There's always been darkness. There's always been oppression. There's always been difficult times and thoughts and governments that have worked against us. But don't worry about these things. They're not greater than God himself not greater than Jesus Christ. You're part of a family of God. You're a part of a fellowship that we have together in Jesus Christ. For we are brothers and sisters with the Lord Jesus as our Lord and Savior. He can calm the storm in our heart. He can bring peace in the midst of strife and give you a good sleep tonight and hope and direction for tomorrow. Let us pray. Lord God, tonight we come to you needing once again a calm heart, a resolve to be faithful. And we wonder at who you are, for we see your mighty hand moving in our lives all the time. We see your grace, and we wonder at you. But we know that you are our Savior, you are our Lord, that you love us, that you are working on our behalf, even through difficult times. Lord, take our trials today, our worries and our fears. Take our hurts and our wounds. Heal, mend, direct. Open our eyes and set us free from deceptions and lies. And by your word, lead us into your truth and your ever-growing knowledge of your love in our hearts. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. I'm so glad you joined us for Vespers tonight and that you keep coming back. I hope you'd encourage someone else to hit, be a part of our ever-growing fellowship of faith by hitting the bell below 
and uh, the share button or passing it on in email or letting someone find the link to this YouTube channel so they can be a part of this uh, evening of prayer and meditation every Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Until we get together next time, this is Pastor John from Millerville Community Church encouraging you as always to keep the faith and to share it too. God's country. Come to God's people. Come to God's word. Welcome to Millerville Community Church. We're just a short drive away.